Tex Max Chicken! Welcome to another installment of Cooking Chris's Dishes, where I, the good old boy, am cooking dishes from recipes that crock.com, that is my wife's cooking blog that has over 250 recipes and counting. And today we're going to do a little Tex Mex flavor on the blog. We're doing a Tex Mex chicken tacos. And it's really, really simple, not that many ingredients. And trust me when I say it's one of the dishes on the blog that keeps coming back in our house. We have a lot of dishes on the blog, but some of them we hold near and dear to our hearts and we have them a lot and this is one of them because it is so simple and easy and it really, really tastes good. And all you need in this recipe is, and I've got to look down here at the screen because I can't see because she won't let me keep my glasses on. It says on the blog to have four frozen chicken breasts, but if you want to have this a little faster, go to the store and get yourself a package of the grilled and ready chicken strips from Tyson. We really like them. They're very convenient. It's already cooked. You probably want to heat them up. You wouldn't want to just want to pull them out of the bag and eat them. No, but no. but they're, they're already cooked, so all you're going to do, you're pretty much just heating these up. But you want one bag of these, or you can use four, uh, four frozen chicken breasts. That are uncooked. That are uncooked, yeah. And you want to have yourself some northern beans some black beans, and you also want to find in your uh, canned vegetable aisle the sweet corn and diced peppers. Um, you can find them pretty much probably in any vegetable aisle. And then you also want to use one package of taco seasoning, or in our house, four tablespoons of a homemade taco seasoning. Now, honey, where would how would they know how to do homemade taco seasoning? Oh, they can find that anywhere like on Pinterest or those kinds of places, or we just buy our taco seasoning in bulk because we use it so much. Right, and we really like that taco seasoning from Penzi's. And then you also need one 16 ounce jar of salsa. Alexa, play me some salsa. Oh no my, there you go. Oh Alexa, turn it up. That's the only move I know. I just shaking my hips and doing the salsa. Okay, Alexa, stop. But uh, the recipe is simple. You take your for your frozen chicken breasts or your package of already pre-cooked chicken breasts. What? Alexa, stop. She's a lot like you. She just likes to spout off random facts. <laughs> All right, so you take your chicken breasts and put them in the bottom of your pot. And one of the reasons we like using this is it keeps the chicken nice and juicy. Yes. 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 What does? The, the pre-cooked chicken strips cook up really nice in those. Slow the pre-cooked chicken breasts already, since they're already pre-cooked, they'll be nice and juicy in your slow cooker. <laughs> Experts say. And all you're doing is just you're, you're just taking this and you're going to put it in the pot. It's kind of a a dump recipe. You're going to just dump it all in the pot and it heats up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the ones that are the closest to my hands. I'll dump that in there. And then all of your beans and your Mexicorn need to be drained. So I'm just going to toss them all in this bowl. There's the white beans. There's the black beans. Here's the Mexicorn. And then you want to have this drained and rinsed. So I'm going to sneak away for just a second while I rinse these off. And I'll be back in a flash. <gasps> all right, so our Mexicorn and our white beans and our black beans have all been drained. And we'll just put them right in their pot. Just like that. And then, and you want to have one package or four tablespoons. Tablespoon is the? Big T. That's right, big T. If it was a little T, what would it be? Teaspoon. That's right. So we do a one. And a two. And a three. 
and a four. I always sound like Lawrence Welk when I'm dumping multiple things in. And the one, then the two, then the three, then. All right. So now, I start to look to you for the answers, but you're back there running the camera. All you want to do now, after you place chicken, I'm going to buy your slow cooker, add your main ingredients, and toss well. Give them a good stir there. Toss well. What you're doing is you're introducing everybody to the party. Get all the beans mixed in with the salsa, mixed in with the chicken, mixed in with your four tablespoons of taco seasoning, or one packet of seasoning, whatever you got. And once it's been mixed up really well, and since we've already used our pre-cooked frozen chicken, this will not take near as long to cook. So we set it on high for three to four hours or until the chicken falls apart and shreds well. Now, if you're going to use frozen chicken breasts, you want to make sure that this is cooked long enough that your chicken has cooked well and you can take two forks and you can shred it because again, you're going to put this into tacos. I guess if you just wanted to pull your chicken breasts out and eat them like they were, you could. Yep. But no tacos over are fun. Rice or something. Yeah, you could serve it over rice. Whoa, rice and beans would be good because mm -hmm. you got the beans already. But then what's the fun in that? Because tacos are fun. Tacos. Have them on a Tuesday. Everybody I know does Taco Tuesdays. Now, I've got to work on Tuesday nights, but when, sometimes when I come home on Tuesday. In fact, I think it was. Was it this last Tuesday we had them? I don't know. No, we had them on Thursday. We had Taco Thursday at our house. But anyway, it goes. We're having tacos tonight. So I'm going to set this slow cook on high. I love this Ninja. Four. It's already done. Four hours. It was already set on there. So that is cool. I want to say that we're going to come back in four hours and check this out, but I'd rather say we're going to check it out right now because we already have some cooked up. Uh, you're just going to find it. Just going to find out in the um, to, days. If of they're pot using pots. a pre cooked, it probably would be done on high in about two hours. Two hours yeah. with a pre cooked because all you're doing is heating it up. Right. It's frozen. It ain't going to take long. It is not going to take long. That is four years of college right there for you. It ain't going to take long. <laughs> I get excited when I talk about chicken tacos. There you go. Get this out of the way. I will move this pot this way. I'll move this pot this way. And I'm gonna get out of the way. Okay. Let's move this here. Let's move this. <laughs> I am literally swimming in crock pots right now. We've got so many recipes going on in the house. But right there, I'll set it just like that. Pull the lid off, and this. I gotta get a spoon. Let me show y'all what it looks like. I'm gonna take my little mini taco boats. Have you ever seen these? Instead of taco shells, we like to use the little taco boats because they're little handhelds. If you've seen from the zesty pork um, video, these are what I'm using. I'm gonna toss them in the microwave for, I'm feeling good with 12 seconds. I think we should do it that way. But Your science time. going on here. What did you do? I thought I had a paper plate. I guess not. You just put it in the microwave. Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> so 12 seconds later, our taco boats are hot. And I'm going to do this my way. I know it's prettier when you put the cheese on the top, but frankly, I'm doing this to eat. So... <laughs> Pretty food's great. If you want to see pretty food, go look at the Food Network and the Cook It channel. I'm here for practical stuff that you can eat. So I'm going to put my cheese on the bottom. And again, if you remember from the, the zesty pork recipe, that's because the cheese is going to get warmed up from the taco boats that you just put in the microwave. And then you're going to take your Tex-Mex chicken. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. And you're going to put on top of your, let me do this one where I can. That's work. a little overflowing boat there, babe. Well, you know. We'll do it like that. And then one more. There you go. This one doesn't have as much in it. It can be yours since you don't like the overflowing boat. <laughs> overflowing boat. But me, I'll take this one. I'll test that. You can see 
how all the corn and the beans and the white beans, you got the black beans, the white beans, and the chickens all married up good. Um, mm. It's so much better than Taco Bell. It doesn't take a lot long to make. And it's a favorite. It's really, really good. That, plus some tortilla chips. Maybe a little salsa music in the background. You have your own little Mexican restaurant. At least the family will like it. Yes. So, Tex-Mex chicken doesn't take too long to make. It's got a lot in it. I mean, the beans and the chicken, there's a lot of protein there. It's a very filling meal. The corn adds a real sweetness to it. It really sweetens it up. So with that taco seasoning, it's going to add that little bit of spice to it. The, the sweet in there is a good complement to it. It's really, really good. Really simple to make. <clears throat> and... I want another bite of it because it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. That's good stuff. <laughs> it truly is one of our favorite recipes. Yep. Miss Ed loves them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite her to have one or two when we get done here. Oh, it's a big mouthful. <laughs> I'm sweeting up my food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just sit and wait on you then, I guess. Stand by. <laughs> We want to thank you for watching uh, another episode of Cooking. What? There is a ginormous bug above you. <laughs> we want to thank you guys <laughs> for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes. If it were a spider. Help! <laughs> if it were a spider. Oh, if it were a spider, I'd be gone. I'm, that'd be, this game over. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that really bugs me. Oh, goodness. That's a stink bug, too. <laughs> so we want to thank you guys again for watching another episode with us here. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a like on the video. Uh, also, subscribe if you haven't. YouTube.com slash Mikey Good. You also could give us a like over on Facebook at RecipesThatCrock.com, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boys. Or Good Old... <laughs> Just me. <laughs> at Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy. That's me. And uh, we really appreciate you guys watching, and thanks again. <laughs>